I just passed gas for three nineteen. Three nineteen. I just paid three sixty nine. <laughs> Bummer. So gas is really cheap. Wow. All right. I guess we're gonna hit the interstate toward Roanoke. There ain't nobody gonna do it for you. Got to find your own. Well, when you drive the Blue Roads, you drive a lot and don't get very far. <laughs> and uh, I, I got to Roanoke and decided I was about ready for me to stop. And I'd scoped out a couple state parks. Uh, hunting season opens this weekend, so I didn't want to be in the forest. And I figured a state park would be the best place to be this weekend, even though uh, I usually avoid trying to get into a campground on a Friday, even in the off season sometimes. But there were a couple state parks within I don't know hour and a half of Roanoke one had like five sites available maybe a little bit more one had 15 and this one's further away <laughs> I kept thinking as I'm driving out here stony stony something uh anyway and I I tried to reserve a site at last night I'll tell you more about that but anyway what was I gonna say hour and a half I kept thinking I'm out of my way why am I going so far out of my way and then I was like I'm is it really out of my way it doesn't really matter where I go I was just saying that earlier but we're almost there we're about nine miles on this windy curvy road but Sadie had to get out she was starting to get restless so stopped at this little day use area look at the lake yes I love the off season so much. <laughs> Oh, 
and we had a strong northerly wind today so I drove through crazy smoke uh, north of the fire but as soon as we passed the fire I was watching it on the map as soon as we passed it clear skies it was crazy I mean as soon as <laughs> I was like parallel to it adjacent to it you know next to it <laughs> Wish I could camp here, but I can't. Sure would be nice. A lot of people are looking for you right now. Well, I made it. Fairy Stone, Fairy Stone State Park in Virginia, about an hour and a half south east of Roanoke. And it's beautiful here. I really felt like I was like going way out of my way, but like I don't know what my way is. I guess it doesn't really matter. Uh, but let me tell you about the legend of Fairy Stone, at least the Christian legend. I'm going to try to do some research and see if there's a Native American story, because I'm sure there is. But the legend goes long, long, long ago, as fairies played in Sunny Glade in Patrick County, Virginia, an elfin messenger arrived. With the, new, with the sad news, Christ's crucifixion. The fairies cried, and as their tears fell to the earth, they crystallized into little stone crosses. Though the fairies seem to have disappeared, their remnants can still be found in that spot today. So there's one spot, I guess, in the park where there are all kinds of rocks shaped like that. I might try to go find them on my way out. The park got its name, really, from the stone crystals commonly known as fairy stones. They're formed and found within the park's boundary. These stone crosses, or storolite, are composed of iron, aluminum, and silicate. Single crystals are hexagonal or six-sided and often intersect at right angles to form the Roman or Maltese-shaped cross. In other instances, the singles intersect at 45-degree angles to form St. Andrew's crosses. The, form, the formation of starlight, starlight crystals involved an exact combination of heat and pressure provided by the folding and crumpling of the Earth's crust during the formation of the Appalachian Mountains. During the formation of the crystals, mineral deposits surrounding the crystals were also subjected to the same conditions and formed what is known as schist, C S. C-H-I-S-T. The storolite crystals are usually harder than the surrounding schist and less likely and less easily weathered. As the storolite bearing schist is weathered away, the more resistant crystals are uncovered and are found exposed at the earth's surface. Occasionally, storolite can be found still embedded in this schist matrix. But they go on to say that there are many versions of the legend, such as the one above, but they are basically the same. Fairies dance and played around springs of water with naids, naids, naiads, and wood nymphs. With the sad news of Christ's death, with the sad news of Christ's death, the fairies' tears fell upon the ground and crystallized. Superstitions held that possessing one of these rare fairy stones would protect its owner from illness and accidents and even ward off a witch's curse. So they're driving to Route 57 and turning left, east, near a service station. You can actually take a few. 
for personal use. That's kind of interesting. They don't usually allow you to do that. But anyway, that's uh, that's the history of this park. Pretty park, even though it's uh, Friday and there's some people here, it's not that bad. A lot of hiking, so I'm looking forward to spending some time here and exploring. Pennsylvania and goodbye to New York for the first time in many months. <laughs> I'm in a new state. It feels good. I got it. Any, any um, concern I had or trepidation is gone. It feels really good to be behind the wheel on the road again. So much possibility. Well, life back on the road. I travel a day or well, yeah, I travel a day or two and then stay put for a day or two to get caught up on work. So um, I've been here. So I got to the campground last night. I've been working all day. Sadie and I went for like a three mile hike this morning when working all day on a couple videos, trying to get to, uh, Sunday night video started early. Anyway, long story, but this is what it looks like in here. Yeah. <laughs> dinner. Trying to, uh, This is me doing 50 million things at once. Cooking dinner. Working. Hi, Sadie girl. I made some uh, lentils earlier. So I just threw these in the pot. Some lentils. I'm really low on everything. I meant to stop at a grocery store before I got here, but I took all the back roads and I didn't see any. And I didn't feel like stop silly me. There were a couple co-ops in, where am I? Virginia. What's the name of that town I just drove through? North of here. Anyway, there were a couple food co-ops there, but they were downtown. I looked at them on the map and I didn't, I, I'd been driving for several hours and I really didn't feel like fighting with downtown traffic. Plus it was Friday before Thanksgiving and traffic already was bad on the highway. So anyway, I decided to come all the way out here and this state park is really out of the way. And I decided to come out here without groceries. I've got, a, a few, I'm only going to be here for a couple of days. Basically, this is what I do. I travel and work, travel and work, travel and work. And I've said this before, anybody who's ever done a road trip, imagine working on top of that. Most people take a vacation and go on a road trip and you're exhausted <laughs> when you get done, right? I work and road trip. So, uh, yeah, kind of wound up. I've been really just kind of drilling down on work today. And, uh. So what am I doing? I'm making dinner. I'm going to make those. Oh, I was talking about groceries. I had like, I have some old cabbage. I have some old, some kale, which I haven't looked at in a while. I don't know, but that'll work. And I've got frozen peas. So I'm just going to have the lentils with some roasted sweet potatoes and I always have kimchi in there too, which is fermented cabbage, which adds a lot of flavor and I guess that could count as a veggie plus good probiotics. Um, what else? Why did I turn on the camera? Because I just wanted to share dinner with you and share my life and what it looks like in here on a busy work day. And uh, let me see. I think that's it right now. I'll show you dinner when it's done.
know, and I'm not complaining about my life at all. This is the life I choose and I love it. I'm self-employed. I can work. I can make my own schedule. I can pull an all-nighter if I need to. I don't. <laughs> I don't. I can't stay up all night. But, you know, there are times I have to work 12 hours a day. But then I can hit the road and just work on breaks or in the morning or at night here and there as needed. So, I mean, I work when I want. It's the beauty of my life. I don't have to answer to anyone except my sponsors these days, <laughs> which is a lot of extra work. But that's a whole other story, and I'm grateful for that as well. So, um, you know, it all all works together to help me make a living doing what I love. So I'm not complaining. I don't want, whenever I talk about this stuff, I, you know, I don't ever want it to sound like I'm complaining. I'm just sharing the reality of life as a working age person on the road. But I'm very lucky. I know that. A little burnt. <sighs> yep, gotta store stuff on my bed. All right, lentils, the cooked kale, sweet potatoes. I picked up these somewhere a while ago. Yum. So they're like uh, fermented ginger carrots. And that's going to be dinner. It needed something creamy. And a lot of rich flavors with the uh, lentils. I put, I bought Chinese five spice a long time ago. It's because it sounded interesting. It's got a whole bunch of stuff in it. And I've never used it. So I threw it in my lentils. And it's kind of strong. It's got like nutmeg and I think coriander. I'll put a link here. I'll put a list. Uh, but anyway, it needed something creamy. So I put some mayo on it. I know. <laughs> but it's better. It's really good. I could have put tahini on it. But I think my tahini is old. But vegan's best food mayo is so good. Good. It's really good. Okay. And Sadie and I just came back from our evening walk. And so I'm going to eat dinner. Still trying to get a video done. My cell signal is really bad here. And uh, Starlink is very obstructed. I put a short video up today. And it took like three hours. So I'm trying to get as much of my Sunday video done tonight as I can. My All my videos have been taking two days again lately. I don't know why. <laughs> <laughs> but they have so uh yeah so I'm gonna eat dinner and get back to work at least for a little while and then I'll relax for the night and watch what am I watching chemistry lessons in chemistry on apple so good uh I just finished the morning show it was really sad only 10 episodes in the third season it was intense it was really good and I'm watching also watching the gilded age that's also really good but I think I'm all caught up on that too. So I have to catch up on chemistry. I keep wanting to call it Masters of Sex. A completely different show. Masters of Chemistry. <laughs> anyway. Alright, I'm going to eat. Bye. my favorite campground an empty campground I think I'm the only one here it's, I've been working all day so it's Sunday my video is loading now so I can go for a walk I might have it all to myself let's go see oh not alone <laughs> station And flushing. <clears throat> I 
A lot of the sites are pretty off level. A lot of them are kind of small too. The night before I got here, I tried to reserve online and it was a half hour headache. Didn't get anywhere. But they do have pictures of all the sites. You know, a lot of people are doing that now. So I decided just to drive here. I mean, it's off season and everything. And I'm glad I did. Got to pick my own site. And site number one is the best site. It's far away from other people. Sadie is just wearing on my last nerve today. She hurt her paw again. And I have no right to be mad at her. She wants to come outside and chase things. Duh. Okay, I need to fill up my water tank. I never hook up to city water when I'm at campgrounds, partly because my connection into my RV Damn. leaks. I've changed the gasket and it I can get it so that it doesn't leak a lot, but oh, I don't know, it's just easier it for off. me just to fill the tank and use it the way I normally use it since I'm used to boondocking all the time anyway. So I just fill up my tank when I need to. The deer sure know where they're safe. <laughs> there are deer, deer everywhere. Just heard a bunch in the woods and one just crossed the path in front of me before I could grab my camera. Hunting season has begun. State parks are safe. Be free, little deer. Be free. There's one up there. I just saw it move in the woods. It's been a good uh, opportunity, Sadie. The herd, the herd behind my camp is very docile. They're not afraid of humans or dogs at all. So it's been a good opportunity to try to desensitize Sadie. I mean, I've desensitized her to horses and cows by just getting close and making her sit and feeding her treats and not reacting. And it's worked on horses and cows. It'd be nice if I could get it to work on deer. I would love it if she stopped chasing deer. Well, hello there. You're safe with me. My dog's even on a leash. Mm-hmm. Where's the rest of your family? I hear them. Chipmunks and squirrels. I don't think I have a chance. <laughs> Look at her. Okay, stop.
Okay, trying to carry coffee, film, and walk with a dog on a leash. <sighs> I smell smoke again this morning, so the wind must have shifted. So we're hiking right on the edge of the Blue Ridge Mountains, which the Cherokee called Chaconage, or the place of blue smoke. And the forests on these ridges are mostly fir and spruce, which emit isoprene, which rises into the air, making the Blue Ridge Mountains blue. Remember when I said I wanted to start staying in more state parks? <laughs> so that I could do more hiking and because I miss out on a lot, I think, sometimes staying on public lands. You know, this is so convenient. I have a safe place to leave my rig in a campground and I've got all these trails right outside my door. Home to a waterfall. Woohoo! 40 bucks a night though. That's ridiculous. I'm sorry, Virginia, but that's ridiculous. And I, I'm tempted, it's gonna rain tomorrow, so I'm tempted to stay, but I've already been here three nights, so I'm not spending 80 more dollars. That's just highway robbery, that's ridiculous. <laughs> I'm sorry, it's beautiful. I, it really is. Clean, the showers and the bathrooms look nice, but I mean, that's a lot of money. By the way, it's $35 if you're a Virginia resident, and it's a state park, so no, you can't use the National Park Pass. No discounts. Uh, unless maybe, they might have, they might have discounts, actually. You have to, you have to, I hate all these state parks, too, by the way. You have to sign up for their state park website. You know how many state park websites I now have signed up for? And, uh, yeah, so... They're usually not on, like, the big reservation.gov or anything like that, so you have to set up accounts on their website. I don't think there were any, maybe military discount, maybe retired. I don't remember. I'm not quite there yet. They're retired. I'm getting there. It's so fun to see how different the vegetation is in different states, different forests across the country. It's starting to look more southern, I don't know if tropical is the right word, but definitely different than the northeast and the west. These shiny leaves and yeah, I don't know what they are. We'll find out. How that tree split. Wow, look at that. resting on another tree. Look at that. Wow. Wow.
a lot of water. Be surprised if the falls are running at all. It's so quiet. <clears throat> ah, crap. <laughs> I should have worn my boots. Uh. But at least I have my wool socks on. Wool socks are the best for hiking. If your feet get wet, they're the best. They're making alternatives now, hemp and stuff like that, but I haven't tried any of those. I've always liked wool. Because if cotton gets wet, it doesn't dry, and it's just, yeah, it's awful. And wool can stay wet and still not irritate your feet and still breathe, I guess. All right, I'm not going to let you pull me. Oh, here we go. There we go. Just a little wet. Come on. We made it. Pretty. Half a mile uphill, how fun. <laughs> Especially with the smoke, I can smell it. I think we're almost at the top. We even had a switch back. <laughs> wow. Smoky. I don't know if you can see through the trees. The wind must be coming from the north. That's where most of the fires are, the big one. That's been burning like all summer.
Blue Ridge Mountains. Very smoky today. Gorgeous picture though. Wow. I think this is a five mile day. Yes. Feels good. Beautiful. Beautiful out here. Doesn't that look more tropical? Look at that. Beehive. Wow. Home sweet home. Believe it or not, a starling did pr pretty well there. I thought north was over here more, according to my compass on my cell phone. Uh, but <laughs> look how obstructed that is. And I was really surprised. I'm able to stream. Streaming is pretty good. Uh, I mean, it buffers every once in a while. But uploading videos, forget about it. So you might remember a couple weeks ago. I uh, wasn't able to get my Sunday video. It was, I don't know, probably four gigs. I haven't really looked at how many gigs. It took eight hours. It finally loaded at one o'clock this morning. So, um, putting it on my roof would have done absolutely no good. I think it would have made it worse. It would have been aiming right there at those trees. So, sometimes it works on the roof, sometimes it doesn't. So, all right, time to... Make some breakfast and get to work. Hey friendlies, so how fun was the video? Did you enjoy Fairy Stone State Park as much as I did? A lot of great hiking. I think anybody who's traveling through the area should put it on their list. It was, even if it was expensive, 40 bucks a night, but uh, still uh, gorgeous hiking. Uh, it was really, really nice to be able to start my day uh, doing some gorgeous hiking. And also, so just to let you know, if you want to see the drive to the park, it's about 20 minutes of video that would have made this video over an hour. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it on Patreon. You can now join Patreon for free. So I'm going to put the drive on Patreon for free members to view. I also am going to be shooting a little bit different so I don't get so far behind, which means I'm also going to be posting some things for paid patron members as well that aren't going to make it into regular videos. And I'm doing this because I'm trying to be more mindful about what I'm bringing you and also trying to be more mindful about my own work-life balance, which means I'm going to consciously take days off where I don't film, which is something when I'm traveling uh, brand new. So again, if you want to see the drive through like Staunton, Virginia was one of the towns, a couple other small towns, some 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 fun driving footage that just couldn't make it into this video. I'm going to post that for free on Patreon for free patrons. So check that link in the video description. I also have a boondocking spot in a Virginia National Forest that I'm going to be loading soon for paid patrons. So check it out in the link below. And thank you so much for hanging out with me. I'll see you soon. In the meantime, be happy, be free, and be kind. And wait till you see the state park I'm in now. Oh my goodness, it's gorgeous. So stay tuned for that. Subscribe below.